Hey there, YouTubers. Right, so on um, this video, we're going to compare three bench sling. These are like uh, Mark Bell slingshot ripoffs, basically. Two different styles and uh, three different brands we have here. Now, these all were less than $20. And honestly, thanks to you guys because of some of the uh, kickbacks I get from YouTube and Amazon Associates. That basically, you know, cost me nothing. So that part's good. Now, what we're going to do to start with is I'm going to put a barbell on here and see if the barbell is enough weight to press my arms from basically the uh, this position down to my chest, okay? That's going to give us a good idea how much starting resistance we're going to get from these. So, basically what I'm saying is I'll put this on and I have to put a lot of force uh, driving back <laughs> to get my hands parallel to my chest with the red one, alright? So we'll do that with all these. Got this gray one here. And somewhere down below we'll say what they are. Same deal here. Trying to get that to my, you know, chest. Uh, not the easiest thing in the world. <clears throat> the latest one I got, this one hits your elbows, or goes on at your elbows, I should say. And same deal. So they all give you a little bit of uh, starting assistance with the weight. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be somewhere between the barbell and 45s, as we have shown. Hopefully the camera won't rotate too much on its own. So let's get started. Alright, so I believe with all three of these models, you guys, if you watch the videos, have seen me put over 400 pounds on the bar. Well, including the bar. Right, so they definitely work. Eventually, I'd like to compare one of these to Mark Bell's. Alright, so 45 pound barbell and it definitely is almost enough to press down to my chest. So we might want to give you guys a different view. So you can actually see that aspect. And hopefully that will work. Now, 45 pounds, 45 pound dumbbell or barbell did appear to be enough for the most part. But it was still hanging about an inch off of my chest. Going up. 65 pounds here, basically. This might be a little too much of a jump, but let's just see. Okay, so you can see that did hit my chest. So, rather than Say it's 65, let's try 55. And had I experimented with this beforehand, we have an idea. So we'll go through these, all three of these one at a time. Just to get an idea. On the low end, how much assistance do you get? Now that doesn't mean on the high end you're getting any assistance, just down to your chest. And so, unlike the 65 pounds, it's not quite hitting my chest. Right. So, if we wanted to fine tune that, maybe we would 
stick two and a half pounds in just to see what does it take to get this thing to hit my chest without me using any muscle power to drive it back. And boom. So 60 pounds folks. Not 65. Not uh the, you know, maybe it was actually could have been 58 and a half, who knows, but we'll go with 60. I do have microweights, so we could we could figure that out. Now, since we've already got this weight on here, let's try the gray one and see if 60 pounds. So what we're doing in this video, we are comparing three bench slings. Got the gray one that I'm wearing, black, red. Uh, what am I doing in the beginning here? Well, trying to see how much weight it takes to bring this barbell down to my chest without me using my muscles uh, to pull it in. We did the red one, it took 60 pounds. This gray one, which is the uh, second newest one, is so far at 90. And so I should be able to rest the, the barbell on my chest without using any of my strength. Of course, I'm bringing it down slowly, but uh, the red one, you know, I've had for a while, so it's probably quite a bit more now. And so, boom, 90 degrees, hitting my chest, or 90 pounds, sorry, hitting my chest. And so, we know early on in the beginning of the bench press, this gray one's going to give us a lot more pop. Now, I do have con some concerns about the quality of the manufacturing of this thing, but that's another story. So we're going to do the black one, which I most recently put the most weight up uh, between the three. Now, that said, I did get stronger week by week, um, whether it's because of all the weight I gained or some other reasons we won't talk about. But we will uh, start with 90 and we'll go forward backwards and see what this does. Now this one works at the elbow where the other one's upper arm. And so that easily will bring it down to my chest. The other good thing about this, I think it's getting warmed up good, hopefully. So, be honest with you, I'm thinking I'm going to drop down to 75 pounds and we will see if we need to go back another way. So right now, I think the rest of this video is going to be me using the gray one once I fine tune this. And boom. So this one, somewhere between 70 and 75 pounds is probably the the magic number, but let's go ahead and drop down. Because that definitely drove it down 75. So we'll see what this does. Just barely hitting. So that's the exact number. Alright, so we hit we had 65, 70, and then 90. And 
I'm gonna I'm gonna see folks if I can break some break some records here with the gray one. So I'll get warmed up and we'll put some real weight on here eventually. Alright, so we'll do 225 next. So one of these days we will buy the real Mark Bell some shot. Hopefully the uh, mad dog which is named after his brother. Old I don't know if it's his older brother, but biggest brother. So, it can take a while to get warmed up. That was painful. I feel my shoulder, my elbow, a couple other spots. <laughs> But we're gonna do a lot heavier, so let me pause the video until then. Uh, so I almost knocked the camera over. Not very smart. Went up. Um, we skipped one set for you guys that I didn't film. Now I've got uh, the three 45 pound plates and a five on each side. And still going up. We'll be going up for a while, hopefully, if all works out. And like I said, I am feeling that. All right, 365. I honestly don't believe I would even try this much weight without this device. Um, that's uh, one scary thing about this. Gives you a little bit of confidence that maybe I shouldn't have. Alright, so we had 30 pounds. You know, one day I dream of having my own fully decked out uh, gym, a little nicer than this. But uh, having all the weight, same weight plates, and that would be nice. And some better weight. Right? Alright. So. I don't know how many I'll get, but uh, should get at least a couple. Oh, damn. What's that a spot? Boy, do I wish I had a spotter. Could have kept going, I think. So I actually have one more 45 pound plate. But these things don't even, uh, you can see that, not even the same diameter. Uh, probably be a little better to have those plates instead of going wide with all the other stuff, but. One day I would like uh, to buy a fifth 45 pound plate and uh, actually be able <laughs> to uh, bench that. Even if it's only for one, even if it's with the uh, the bench sling or a bench suit, bench shirt. Uh, so I ended up switching out those plates for that, that 45 just because I think I'll have better control. When you get those plates further out, it's not quite as easy to control. So. All right, so if we get um, two or three reps, we'll put uh, 
more on there and try and break what we did last week. <coughs> now I am I'm starting to feel my elbow. My shoulder definitely doesn't feel so great. That's more my my trap. But um, it ain't totally broken. We're gonna keep going, all right? All right. I think I only got three. Gotta save a little bit of energy. All right, so if I had a spotter, we probably would be going up at least another five to 10 pounds. smart uh, we got the weight up but you can see it took took a while longer to get it <laughs> my arms lock out if they even completely locked out uh, yeah I actually felt a little scary so that's gonna do it folks for this video and uh, you know like I said this out of the three I have seems to be the, the best one, but uh, it's uh, it's quite a, uh, a workout. Um, yeah, that's going to do it as far as the heavy weights go. We're going to do one more set. I say heavy. Anything above 225 seems heavy these days. I think we'll, we'll drop down to three plates and uh, we'll just see how that goes. So, drop down to uh, three plates. I would expect that we will get uh, at least 12 reps. Uh, for what I just did, 12 to 15 probably, somewhere in there. If I do more than that, there's something wrong, I think. Um, if we do less, then we'll blame it on fatigue, right? Now the bench sling I bought was the, uh, the large, fits the arms pretty, pretty tight, uh, should I have gotten a bigger one, questionable, should I have just went and spent, uh, instead of buying three of these, they cost 60 bucks, bought the, the Mark Bell for the uh, same price, <laughs> probably should have, right, <clears throat> but I think the same same problem is going to be the lockout. I probably need to start doing some training with some chains and definitely a spotter. All right. So like I said, I'm pretty tired. This light weight is not getting any lighter, even if I did take a lot off. I'm going to go a little wider in the grip. Hopefully uh, my wrist will hold up. <coughs> And that is going to do it. Didn't count the reps, but I know it was at least 10, right? <laughs> Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe.